Hey everyone, it's Amador, and um, I have this <laughs> empty space right now. I wanted to show you guys something I was working on um, during uh, several weeks ago. I was trying to finish, trying to finish these, um, and I just have some of my um, Annie Sloan uh, paint cans and stuff like that. And these are some of the brushes. And yes, I am very proud to say that I own uh, the the brushes because they are freaking amazing. They totally make a difference, but. I'm not here to sell that right now. <laughs> what I wanted to show you guys is what I've been working on. And some of these products are using the Annie Sloan chalk paint in, in various ways. And these are some things that I've been wanting to make. I've had these in the garage for almost two years. I just haven't had a chance to really sit down and find the techniques that I wanted to use and everything. So I wanted to show you guys because some people were interested in what I've used my Annie Sloan chalk paints for. But first, let me show you these. These are all, by the way, these are all going to be dog beds. Yes, um, you, if you guys know, I love my little dog Fifi, and I want them to make some dog beds. And these actually are going to be on sale at the um, at the Bloom stores here in Las Vegas. I was debating putting them on Etsy, but I have to admit, um, shipping won't be cheap, so I didn't want to push that. And then you know, but if you're interested, message me, and I can give you a price range. So let me so these are the size of vintage coke crates. Now, this was these are pine, but there is this stain that I have found um that they also sell at the bloom stores. It is super awesome. It makes um unfinished wood look like reclaimed um uh reclaimed wood. So let me show you like what look at that. Look how awesome that looks. Like, it looks, I mean, and some people are probably watching this and they're like, it looks like old and crappy. No, these are good. This is just, oh my gosh, I love it. So I did use, I did use some of the um, Annie Sloan Chalk Paint Old White with this vintage um, Chateau de Chauvin, um stencil. And then I just sanded it. I lightly sanded it to make it look like it was part of the original piece of wood that has just been, uh, that was reclaimed for maybe some crates or, or an old, uh, um, storage place and used to make these beds um, and this one just says number 16 and this is just all from a stencil um, but I wanted them to look like they were pieces of reclaimed wood from different things like like I said from the Chateau um, sign and they were used to make these crates now um, these and they're, they're like I said they're the size of the vintage Coca-Cola crates and these are for smaller dogs, obviously, but like I said, they're the size of vintage uh, crates. Now, these mattresses were actually handmade. Um, I'm not that good yet, but my mom helped me make them. Yes, my mommy. So, and the cool thing is, here's the inside. Look at that. So, with this stuff, it, like, it gives a different color to the woods because it, it reacts to the actual woods. So, anyway, I digress. These are the mats, and they're two inch thick, and these are all upholstery fabrics. These aren't, like, you know, chintzy fabrics, whatever. These are upholstery fabrics. The cool thing is she put in um, a zipper so you can actually take the cover out and wash it in case. Because, like, my dog, if you see my dog, it's very prissy and very whatever. Her name is Fifi, for goodness sakes. But she loves going outside and rolling around the dirt and just laying on the dirt. Like, she just loves laying on the dirt. And then she comes in into her... I, I have juicy beds, okay? I have I'm, the juicy bed. I actually... She actually has juicy beds and blankets and all this stuff. And she just rolls around the dirt. So anyway, so I, fe I felt that as a dog owner myself, um, they need to be um, usable and uh, cleanable. So here is another one. Now this fabric, check out this beautiful violet um, lavender toile. Isn't that gorgeous? So anyhow, this is another one. I have several in this style and then I'll show you the other style. And this one, see once again, I've done this distressing to make it look like... A reclaimed wood and this one is also it also has that same stencil it's just in a different color in a different um i put france on this one established and and this one says 17 rue de saint gris um i just use different it's like the one one of those long big stencils but i just use sections in different ones and i distressed it and someone's like well you just erased all of it no i wanted it to look like once again i really wanted it to look like um they were pieces and they were used then to make this um this uh th these dog beds so let me just move the thing up a little bit this one is another one now this one now what i liked is i wanted them to be the same sizes so these mattresses these little pads if the customer wanted to switch them out and they're like oh you know i like this one but i like this bed boom switch them out i mean they're the same size for goodness sakes they're gonna be in the store like that um 
And this one has, oh, this one has a different stencil. And this one says, Land de Coton. And I forgot what this meant. Uh, this means, um, wool and cotton. And the cool thing is that the stencil said, um, good for, uh, sewing and repairing. But it was just one long phrase. So what I did was, I just used, um, good for repair and good for, um, sewing. I think that's what it means. Yeah. One of those two. Obviously, my French classes didn't pay off that well. And this one says, uh, soft, to, this is French for soft to the touch. I thought that was kind of a cute little play on words because, you know, you pet your dog. So, and it just, like I said, it looks like they were pieces and they were used to make these crates. And I love this stuff, okay? But yeah, once again, all of the mattresses, all of the little pads are interchangeable. So I totally like that. So those are my crate ones, the crate dog beds. Now here is where I used the... Um, any Sloan chalk paint. How adorbs is that one? I hope the lighting is good. Um, it's kind of gloomy here in, in Vegas. Let me flip it around. You guys can see it better. So this one is using, um, Provence and I did a lot of distressing. Then I did a little bit of gold gilding. Like I'll bring it closer right there. Absolutely love it. Distressed them. I stained them and I gave it a little bit of a dark wax, um, what dark rat, oh, dark racks, <laughs> dark wax look. But I absolutely love it. I mean, does this not look like a vintage, like Rococo style bat? And look at that. Maybe that's the long arrow because I'm totally distracted trying to show you guys this thing. So, and this one also has. A little mattress, a little pad, it comes out. Look, I even painted the inside. Gave it a very distressed look. With a little bit of gilding um, on the sides. Let me show you the back. The whole things have been done, and this looks just like a little bed. I absolutely love that one. So let me put this one down. Um, here's another one in that same style. And this one has two colors. This is Louis Blue and Old White. And I did a um, dark wax glazing on it to make it look even more vintage and distressed. Let me see. Not the easiest to, to film, of course. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to look in the... To make sure I have it. Okay. So I have this detail right here. And it's all... Um, I did it in Louis Blue, then I whitewashed it with uh, the old white, and let me see, okay, and then I did the, and then I sanded it, I distressed it a little bit, I did the wax, and look, I even did the inside, can you even see it, am I even in frame, absolutely love it, and this is this gorgeous fabric, very luxe fabric, that um, Bridget gave me from the Bloom store, because it is awesome. And look, and the whole thing. And trust you me, I make these just like when I make my kits and stuff to sell. I make it like if it was for myself. Every single one of these, there was no expense spared, basically. Um, there was all of the details I could possibly put in it. And because I, would, I was making it as though I was making it for my own dog, um... I didn't build them, trust me. Um, <laughs> but I did, like I said, my thing is just the painting and the distressing, and I absolutely love it. This is one of my favorite. This one, and honestly, every one of them is one of my favorite because they have different, each one of them have different techniques, different colors. I was gonna put a little bit of gilding on this one, but I felt it looked better on the Provence one. I didn't want them all to look the same. And these, the, ma the pads can be interchanged between these, but not within the crates. So, but yes, and seriously, like I said, all of the detail, all of the work on this, it's done as if it was for my Fifi. Okay, let me show you the last one. This one is the granddaddy. This one is the big one. Um, let me see. I'm going to turn it. Like I said, I do apologize about the lighting. It's so... Let me see if that helps. Okay. This one is huge. Okay, look, this is the... This is the size... And I will have pictures at the end, brighter pictures, better looking pictures, trust me, um, to, to take pictures. But this one is much bigger, very much of a daybed style look. 
and this one obviously is <laughs> it's it was a lot more work see the, the pads come out and they like i said they do have a zipper in different locations because depending on the fabric it was easier to work that way um this was done in country gray yeah this one was country gray and but actually i lay i did a layer first of graphite which is annie sloan's chalk paint it's the dark black color and um then i and then i i um covered it in the country gray which is this beautiful like oatmeal color it's like i didn't i was like eh, it looks kind of dumb once i saw it on a piece of furniture i was like i have to have it so i bought a can of course um and these paints cover quite a bit trust me you guys so anyway so i did the graphite because this is a light uh this is also pine so it was light light colored and I felt once you sand it, really the detail wasn't showing. So I really wanted to show like maybe it was like an old oak piece or something. So, um, and I have this detail right here. And look at this, just, just exquisite craftsmanship. Um, and I sanded it. This one has, this one was made to look even older than the rest. This was much more sanding, much more wear. And please, if you guys, when you guys are starting to do your distressing and your sanding, I'm trying not to, trying to get better lighting. Don't just sand to sand. Sand as if that's where more wear and tear is going to be. Don't just do a whole line. Like, see the border? Don't just distress the whole line. Distress certain parts and sections. That's, like, the the best thing I could ever tell you. Um, the best tip that I was ever received, that I, was, I ever gotten. You will never see any of my li distress lines, like, just go all the way across because it's got a border. No, it's, you have to, like, really think it through to make it a brilliant piece. So let me show you. Look, like, even the top, how it was distressed. See? totally totally love it i will show you the sides the detail they're very sturdy look at that absolutely love it even the backs the backs were done the bottoms were painted the backs were distressed as well oh i'm about to i almost dropped it you guys um just i absolutely love it so yeah, like i said these if you guys are interested if you're in the las vegas area these will be um right now i just have these three this one and the other ones and the crates so those are the ones that i'm going to be putting in the shop um like i said i will be putting pictures after this and maybe probably pictures of you before but i really wanted to show you guys and i really wish my lighting would cooperate better with me and um like i said it's, it's a gloomy day um you guys it's just like it's just i love i love it love 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 I love the Annie Sloan chalk paints. I love these beds. These were my original thought of like what I wanted for my dog. So um, these are the only sizes I'm going to be having. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I honestly the price point I don't even know yet. But these do have a lot of work, a lot of love, a lot of time put into it, and the best products. Don't think I just went and bought because you can make your own. Uh, they have ways of you know making chalk paint or whatever. Personally this is way better so all of this is all top quality <laughs> i had my best seamstress work on my bed of bed pads i was it's ever i just think it's so funny that like you had your mom make them I'm like yes i had my mom make them so what so yeah just stack them up and um totally gonna destroy the beds <laughs> so yeah so those are the um the things i had been working on with my annie sloan chalk paint you guys um it works amazing. It works awesome. Check out the Bloom store um, here in Las Vegas. And there's several different um, Annie Sloan stockists. If you guys are looking for the paint, you can order it online. But most cities now uh, do have stockists. So just go on the Annie Sloan website and look for stockists to get your own paint. It's awesome. And like I said, if you guys are interested in the price... Uh, inquiring about the price for these let me know and i will also i'm also thinking of doing um i have a few left uh the only thing is i will be doing these crates i will be doing these crates um i'm, I'm debating putting them in my, my etsy shop and having them in custom so i will be doing custom ones of these uh in the annie sloan paint colors with maybe some sense thing i don't know i haven't really decided so um I don't even know when that's going to happen. So, but that's, this is what I have right now. And that is what I'm going to be, um, putting in the shop. 
So you guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope this made sense and sorry for the lighting. Like I said, stay tuned. You will see some beautiful pictures, right? That were that I just took in my living room. So don't think it's like I took them somewhere and made these glamour shots now. All right, so I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for stopping by. Bye everyone.